Hello everyone! So, you may notice this is a little bit of a different intro um, and I look a little bit different <laughs> to how I normally would at the beginning of my videos or in my videos at all, um, really. Basically, today I decided that I wanted to do a super chill get ready with me. So just sit here, do my makeup. Let's see how this goes. That's okay, we can deal with that. Oh my gosh, I look like a crazy woman. But it's okay, as I said in my last video, I just wanna be super real here on YouTube. Just wanna be myself. Don't wanna overthink it too much. Um, just be really raw and real and me. <laughs> so, I mean, we're doing well. This is kind of what we're doing here. I asked you guys some questions over on Instagram. If you had any questions, and it, I tend to get the same ones kind of coming up. So yeah, I just thought I'd sit and have a little chat where do i start i did actually try and film this video yesterday it didn't go very well insert clips <gasps> why <laughs> it's not gonna happen is it this is just my look We're back today. It's a little bit nicer and sunnier today. Fingers crossed. I'm going to say that and it's going to end up starting raining again. It was actually raining earlier really badly, the same as yesterday. And I was a little bit scared. But you know what? I'm going for it. I'm risking it. Hopefully I can film it all um, before it rains again. By no means I'm not a makeup artist. So please don't watch and like judge how I'm doing my makeup. Um, I just go with the flow. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest with you. I start off by doing my foundation. And you know what? I'm risking it for a chalky biscuit today. I've not said that word since that phrase since I was about 10. So I don't know why I decided to say it on camera anyway. I've not used this in yonks. This is actually my mum's and she didn't want it, so she gave it to me the other day. So we're risking it and I'm just going to put it on today. Don't know if I like it. Don't really know. Rimmel Match Perfection foundation. I used this. Oh, it must have been like four years ago now when I went, was at uni and I did finish it all so I must have liked it so I'm not just trying it not having a clue I did used to wear it I just kind of squirt my foundation onto my face and you guys I also don't use primer or anything so this is where you're already judging me but it's okay um I can deal with it I also used to use a beauty blender for my foundation but for the last quite a long time to be fair i don't <laughs> i don't anymore um i just prefer with a brush because i just feel a beauty blender just takes it all it just takes it all it sucks it all up um, and i'm not about that life i like to have my foundation on my face you know let's get in with the questions i'm also going to try not to just hold this one up and actually i've got a mirror here in front of me but it's like trying to um oh i'm just not a pro at this trying to be in looking at you guys but doing my makeup at the same time how do people do this <laughs> anyway let's get in to the question shall we i know a lot of people do their eyes first what do you do first your skin or your eyes i definitely prefer to do my skin first because otherwise if i do my eyes then when i go to do my skin it just kind of gets in the way so one of the biggest questions actually that i've had recently is like what is my hair care routine or what do i do with my hair how do i get it so long a lot of people have said my hair looks really healthy and shiny and long and just basically i've had compliments on my hair and it's been really nice so thank you if you're someone that's given me a compliment on my hair um it is quite long at the moment although i do have to say i don't think it looks very healthy i think i need it dyed again if anyone gets their hair dyed darker you might feel me with this when it kind of wears off and it goes lighter again it just doesn't feel as healthy like it looks as healthy i don't know when it's dyed i just feel it looks really kind of glossy and it gets its shine and health back in terms of hair care i am kind of growing it recently and it is super long so my hair probably comes it comes way under my boobs, so like 
it's quite long it's probably the longest it's been for a while i just really want long hair i feel like i am just born to have long hair although i have been seeing a lot of girls on instagram recently with short hair like up to their shoulders and they just look so good but i would just regret it wouldn't i i mean i just have spent ages blending out this foundation so what do we think i quite like it it's very like dewy um which is nice for summer i'm more in winter i like a thicker kind of more matte foundation but in summer i do quite like the glow i use the rimmel lasting not rimmel collection lasting perfection concealer it's got new packaging which i absolutely love like it looks so bougie now i can't tell you how many of these i've used i have used oh my gosh over 20 tubes of this it must be i just wouldn't use anything else so this is the concealer that i use and i have shade extra fair so number four i'm just gonna pop that all under my eyes so hair care honestly i'm finding this quite difficult to chat and do my makeup at the same time can you tell oh my gosh is that too much <laughs> i definitely am growing my hair recently and i'm taking a little bit more care of it um in terms of what do i do to keep it healthy and long and what are my tips and things what's my routine i would say i use the elvive dream lengths l'oreal dream lengths um shampoo I absolutely love it like I do love it I spoke about it in a favorites video last year I have used other um, shampoos like in between using it and honestly I can feel the difference my hair just doesn't feel as soft and if I've gone like to using a different shampoo for a while and then I've gone back to that LV dream lens it's just like when I come out of the shower and I dry my hair and everything it feels so soft and smooth and it's like wow okay I need to keep using this so basically I highly recommend that shampoo I then use the Garnier um, hair food. I use that on like the lengths of my hair, so the bottom parts of my hair. Leave on for a few minutes in the shower once I've shampooed and then I wash that out. Um, and that's what I do pretty much every time I wash my hair, I put that on. Really do like that, really do recommend that. And then recently, hang on a second. Hang on one second. I have ordered myself one of these so you might have heard about them you might be thinking girl what are you doing what is that basically i've just heard it's going around at the moment i've heard quite a few people talking about them and they're meant to be really good like massaging your scalp is meant to be really good um for promoting like hair growth and as i am trying to grow my hair and just keep my hair nice and healthy it was just kind of sounded up my street and I wanted to try it. And you know when you're at the hairdressers and they're washing your hair and they massage your hair? It just feels amazing. Anyway, I got myself one. A few pounds off Amazon. Four pounds maybe. Guys, get yourself a scalp massager. Flip and love it. I've not really been using it enough to tell you whether it's making my hair longer or whatever. Any of that stuff. But just for the it feels amazing and like luxurious when you're washing your hair get yourself one a few pounds super cheap i love it other than that i would just say that i try to wash it as little as possible my hair i do think washing it as little as possible is the way to go especially if you want to have healthy and you want it to grow it's got a lot darker in here hasn't it oh it looks like it's gonna rain i would just say try and limit the amount of i'm looking for my powder here it is try and limit the amount of um of times you wash your hair i only wash my hair one to two times a week and i would never wash it more than twice a week unless i was doing some sort of activity or why well, i had to that would be my biggest tip honestly that i only use heat on it like the times i wash my hair the days after that i don't use heat on it unless again something happens and i have to should be good to go that's all i can really say um um how long have i been into weightlifting so i actually started weightlifting when i was at uni do you know what i'm thinking that i might do um a um fitness journey video i've been thinking about doing this for a while and i did actually film one like two years ago now and i just never uploaded it i just then put bronzer all around my face because you know we need that glow <laughs> all about that oh my gosh do you know what it doesn't even look that dark 
But on the camera, in the viewfinder, it looks like I've just made myself like an umpa lumpa. Um, and make sure to go down the neck too. Why am I acting as if this is a tutorial? This is not a tutorial. Me trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. By the way, I really like this, actually. I mean, we'll see when all my makeup's done, but do you know what? I think I've really enjoyed using that. I think it looks quite nice. Weightlifting, I got into it when I was at uni. So I used to do just cardio all the time. That's all I did, which I feel like a lot of people can resonate with and relate to cardio life that was all i did the weights was like super scary to me this was when i was about 19 so oh my gosh that's terrifying five years ago maybe i was 20 but even still four years ago that's quite terrifying that's terrifying moving on blusher it's not much left of this but it just gives you a really nice kind of subtle blush and it's not that dark or anything it's not that out there so i kind of just pack it on a little bit on the nose and a bit around here oh my gosh i find it so hard to multitask and <laughs> answer questions and do my makeup okay have i put too much on you know what oh well i kind of just go with it and then see where i'm at at the end anyway i don't want to speak too much about my weightlifting routine and journey routine journey because i do want to do maybe a separate video because that would take up the whole video so i'm not going to do that but yeah, I've been doing it for four years now. Definitely learned a lot along the way. Completely fell in love with it. Went to being, went from being scared to lifting weights to absolutely loving it. And yeah, done it since I was 19, so for, or 20, 19, 20, so four years uh, at least. Did I have any unsupportive people when I started my Instagram and YouTube and how did I deal with that was a question. And I actually have been asked this quite a few times, but in like worded in different ways. So I thought I would address it, address it or answer it. Address it sounds quite formal. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Unsupportive people. Yes. Yes. I did. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, I did. And do you know what? I'm proud of myself. I'll always forever be proud of myself for doing it anyway. I knew at the time that I would get unsupportive people or just, you know, people have opinions and that's okay. That's kind of, that's life. You know, people have opinions. And yeah, I did. Definitely. And I probably haven't had a lot more than I knew about as well. Like I wouldn't have known about it all. And that's, I'm very aware of the, that fact. But yeah, I definitely did have Thing, unsupportive people that I was aware of and yeah as I said I'm pr I was proud of myself I'm proud of myself now because I knew it was going to happen and I didn't care you know what you can't focus on that so I think this girl in particular I mean a few people have asked similar things but I feel like the people that have asked this are maybe asking because they are scared maybe of themselves and I have had people message me in the past saying like you know how how i'm scared i don't want to i want to start youtube but i'm scared or all this stuff and you know what screw them when you're like 90 this is what you've got to think about when you're like 90 or however old and you look back on your life imagine just thinking it makes me really sad thinking about it imagine thinking that you you didn't do the things that you would have loved to have done because of other people and you probably won't even know those people then or even if you do imagine letting them affect your life and changing how you live your life please do not let the opinion of others stop you from doing things their opinions are irrelevant right this is facts here okay when people see other people going out of their comfort zone and you know taking the leap going for it stepping out and putting themselves out there often people will maybe be negative about that or have something to say or often because they maybe wish that they could do that themselves i'm just saying i'm just saying and if that's not a re if that's not the reason it might not be you've just got to ask yourself why do people care why do people care about you like why do people care what you're doing Honestly, why? I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I would never care what other people were doing in a negative way anyway. Like, mm, 
negativity, no, step away from it, don't bother about them, honestly that's all I can say, there'll be people that talk about me, talk about you, it's life, I don't even know, I'm sure the, you know, um, especially at the beginning obviously because when you're starting off, you're starting off and it's more, you're more bound to get kind of negativity and you know, unsupportive people, but believe in yourself, you've got this, why Why do they care about you, Think, ask yourself that and go for it, you can't let other people's opinions hold you back, you know, if they want to be in that negative little space, that's okay, they can do that, but you're not going to let it affect you. I could speak about that topic for so long, why is it on YouTube that everyone always does their eyebrows off camera, it's making me feel like maybe I should um why is that because you know what i'm not a pro do you know the joke of it i literally just said why do people do their eyebrows off camera i've just been doing my eyebrows talking to you guys but just talking to myself because it stopped recording because the clip was so long like your camera well the camera i have stops recording after a certain amount of time and because i've been filming for so long Oh my gosh, I pretty much just missed me doing my eyebrows. And that just sounds like I'm a total liar after saying that. <laughs> what a joke. Anyway, I've kind of not done this one, so we're still going. What were we chatting about? Unsupportive people, just negative people in general. The people that are unsupportive of you, you don't need in your life. Only keep the supportive ones. And that's the last thing I'm saying. It's raining. Oh, I almost forgot to say. I am using the Natural Collection Brow Pencil. 199 thank me later best exercises for glute growth so what a big question hip thrusts thousand percent you know what i think i might again do another video more specifically to this question because it's such a big question hip thrusts a hundred percent if you want to grow your glutes and you're not hip thrusting start hip thrusting <laughs> basically honestly such a good move for the glutes really isolating the booty glute bridges love them deadlifts love them i prefer thrusts and squats to deadlifts but deadlifts are still a great exercise for your glutes um what else bulgarian split squats reverse lunges abductions love abductions for glutes i love donkey kicks with a dumbbell really good i really need my eyebrows done just do my eyebrows myself i never get them done and i mean it shows doesn't it i feel like they need trimmed up here yeah i think they're my favorite exercises for glute growth you know abductions lunges um reverse lunges and um, bulgarians squats i love a squat i know you kind of either love or hate them but they're just so good and hip thrusts and glute bridges love them um they're my favorite moves for glutes specifically um yeah love them so what next someone asked me what my favorite feature of myself was which i just thought was an interesting question i don't know i don't know i've not really actually thought about this i've just put myself on the spot hula bronzer benefit love it it's my favorite feature of myself my gosh i've really put myself on the spot how sad is it that like i can think of my least favorite features of myself immediately immediately hate my teeth do you know what i used to always hate my nose but actually me and my nose are getting on now i don't mind my nose we're, we're friends <laughs> i'm sorry for all the negativity and the hate that i gave you okay this is getting weird what's my favorite feature I quite, um, I quite like my glutes, you know what, I've built them up, but how weird is it to say that's my favourite feature of myself? By the way, the camera makes me look so much more orange. It's kind of freaking me out. Oh my gosh, I actually look fully like an umpa -lumpa. My eyelashes. <laughs> my hair, my hair. I do quite like my hair. It's quite long for being natural hair, isn't it? Although everyone has beautiful extensions now, so it kind of just makes my hair look a bit rubbish. <laughs> but naturally, I quite like my hair. Okay, I look so orange. I'm really confused. It's not going away. Why do I look this orange? <sighs> Highlight time. And also, my eyes look super teeny tiny, smally. 
this is what I use. So sleek. Love it. Just kind of put my finger in. And put it on. <laughs> put it on my nose. But like blend it out. So it looks crazy at first. But blend, blend, blend. My brow bone. And then on the other side. Really like this. It's really nice middle of my nose try not to put too much on my cheekbones um just blend out with my fingers and i know a lot of you will be squirming at this a little bit of health healthy glow in my life that's what we need can't believe i look so orange you guys have got to trust me that i actually do not look this orange you know i don't actually or do i oh my gosh just a lighting it's just a lighting when i put it here i look like a flipping umpa right oh well you guys are just gonna have to trust that um i look better in person okay right what we got next then highlight so i've just done like the creamy highlight i'm now just gonna go over with the powder one um on my cheekbones and my nose eye time so I just use the original Naked palette literally every single day. I love it. I've got a few of the Naked palettes, but this one is just a classic. absolutely love it. And I just kind of go for a brownie all over the eyelid and just bring it up. Honestly, I was really unsure um, whether to even do this video because I just feel like no one wants to sit and watch me do my makeup less of that and i'm just gonna do what i want <laughs> so i want to sit here do my makeup but only three people watch that's okay um and i have absolutely no regrets doing it a few of you were asking kind of why i had a break off youtube and all this kind of stuff and i did touch on it on my last video just like questioning myself thinking i'm too boring like i said i was questioning whether or not i should even do this just because i just feel like nobody cares but you know we're going for it that's my issue just kind of not believing in myself enough but then i've just got to remind myself that i took the plunge to do it in the first place like past me believed in myself so i've got to keep believing in myself now you know even if i just sit and do this for myself to look back on that's enough for me like it's well worth it i've not done my makeup in a good while you know it feels nice it feels nice to get some makeup on you know what i also did last night let me show you i started you guys aren't gonna believe this i mean if you've seen my instagram stories you will so mrs hinch's book i started coloring in so this is little baby henry and i know he's not red in real life and orange but you know it's coloring i am 24 years old not four but can i just tell you i was doing that for about half an hour last night before i went to bed i've just kind of decided i want less time on my phone i've been feeling a bit just down recently and i've just thought like something needs to change i need less time on my phone so and you know just kind of need to reconnect with myself a little bit so i decided to do that last night time off my phone i want to do it every night before bed to kind of have half an hour at least off my phone doing something whether it's reading coloring and i can't tell you i slept so well last night i felt so sleepy at 11 p.m i never go to sleep at 11 p.m that just made me feel so relaxed and sleepy coloring guys try it it just felt so relaxing i felt like i connected i said on my stories just connected with my childhood self so i used to love coloring in and i feel like when we get older we kind of just think we can't really do stuff that isn't productive so like I never really colour in because just it's not productive. But actually it is productive because it was productive for my mind. And that is um very important. So I then just get my eyeshadow eyeshadow brow pencil. I need to get an eyeliner. I don't have one, so I just use this. And I really just lightly kind of draw a tiny little wingy bit at the corner of my eye i just think it adds something it's not eyeliner nothing you know like that but it's just something i think it gives my eye like a little almost lift makes them look kind of more cat eye 
that's kind of like my like baby version of eyeliner <laughs> mascara i showed this on my instagram stories Ta -da! l'oreal mega volume miss baby roll mascara try it out honestly just you wait i'll do one and we can see the difference flipping love it i never thought i would change from my maybelline lash sensational i would rave about that mascara um and i never thought i would ever try anything else just because i loved that so much but i love this so when i do my mascara i kind of go down on my top lashes first i brush downwards coming from the top down i don't know if this is like a known thing that everyone does i'm not sure and then i start going up normally on them and i just feel like that makes them a lot longer looking love this mascara so much already you can see it's making such a difference Do you know what guys if there was one makeup um i mean you can get lash extensions now can't you but if you couldn't mascara 100 percent. look at the difference already can we just appreciate this unreal oh i fucking love mascara so much look at the difference look at the difference right now can we see that? Is it just me or is my camera really being bad at focusing today? Because it's making me a little bit sad. But look at the difference. This eye looks like it's not okay. It looks like a little bit ill. You know, where she's out to play. We want big lashes. Oh my gosh, what a big difference that makes. Mascara, I love you. Um, and I think that's me done. No lips, so... I mean, look at this little sad looking thing. This is my lip liner. I think we need another one. I think this is a, let me check, L'Oreal. No, it's a Rimmel. Rimmel in tiramisu. I don't put much on because it is quite a dark liner as you can see. So I just do it quite lightly. Though I've gone and put quite a lot on after saying that. <laughs> so that's the lip liner. And then I go over, where is it? I, I feel like Gollum when I say that. Where is it? Where is it? How does he say it? I can't do it. Do you know what? If you want impressions, do not come to me. I'm so bad at impressions. I'm pretty sure this is from Aldi or Lidl or something. I've had it for ages, but I love it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on. I don't like having dark lips. I'm more of a nudie lip. <laughs> kind of girl how are we looking what are we thinking let's take the hair down so yeah i think this is the cura it's probably way too old it's from aldi it's from aldi <laughs> it's literally years old years old it should probably be in the bin i'm kind of like one of those people that like if it's fine it's fine do you know what i mean if it's growing mold then i'll get rid of it but um, but it's from Aldi so um yeah go check it out I love it um and then put the hair down definitely looking a bit more myself and more alive than I did at the beginning of the video don't I so there we go there we have it I am ready not very adventurous when it comes to my hair that's another thing with the first question. I don't like to have my hair tied up a lot because I know that's quite bad for your hair. So I do kind of just have it down. I like having like half up, half down, but I know it's not very good for your hair. So yeah, anyway, I feel like this has been a bit of a boring video. I'll start somewhere, hopefully my videos will get better. Videos will get better, I said that very weird. Um, but thank you for watching if you did i'm kind of thinking that no one will be watching at this point i love watching these sort of videos i actually watch them and pop them on when i'm doing my makeup in the morning so yeah maybe hopefully you could have done that as you're watching it i shall see you again with another video very soon if you have any suggestions anything let me know i do have ideas lined up watch the space and yeah i shall see you by the way, how amazing is the mascara? You need it. All the links will be down below if you want to shop anything. I'll try and find everything. Might not be able to find the Aldi um, lip gloss. But by the way, don't judge Aldi. This is great. This is great. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.